Well, anyway, uh, they were wandering around trying to find the highway, and Sven was just starting down a grade to go under the bridge when he slammed on the brake. And Ole says, what the heck did you do that for? And Sven says, there's a sign there. It says, low bridge, no vehicles over 12 feet high. This camper's 13 feet. And Ole says, Sven, there ain't no cops around. Just hit the gas pedal and go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Oli and Sven, they went fishing one day in a rented boat, and they were catching a lot of fish. And Oli said, we better mark the spot so we can come back tomorrow and catch more fish. So Sven, he put an X on the bottom of the boat and... Oli asked him what he was doing, and Sven said he was marking the spot so they could come back to catch more. And Oli says, you big dummy, how do you know we're going to get the same boat tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Lars, he was staggering home after a midnight in the tavern, and a, a Lutheran minister saw him and offered to help him get home. And uh, as they approached the house, Lars asked the minister to step inside for a moment. He says, I want Lena to see who I've been out with. <laughs> think about it. Oh. <laughs> you to think about that one for a second. Okay. Uh, uh, Oli and Lena had been married 12 years without any children. And one day, Lena announced that Oli was going to become a daddy, and Ufta, he was so overjoyed. In fact, he said he was going down to the newspaper to put in a notice so their friends would know. And when he got home, Lena asked, did you put the notice in the paper? And Oli says, yeah, I did. And, and uh, how much did it cost? Asked Lena. $1,800. Oof. Ufta, exclaimed Lena. That's an awful lot. What did it what they tell you and uh, well he says the lady asked me how many insertions so I said three times a week for 12 years Oli <laughs> <laughs> um, and Lena they went to New York City and they were caught in traffic and a homeless person started washing the windshield and well, he rolled down the window, and he, uh, the homeless guy says, uh, how's it going? Oh, it's okay, Ole says. And, well, where are you folks from? Oh, uh, we're from Minnesota. Minnesota? I've been there. I met the ugliest woman I ever saw in Minnesota. <laughs> and Lena asks, what's he saying, Ole? And, oh, he says he knows you, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Oli and Lars, they go ice fishing, and Oli pulls out his new thermos, and Lars says to him, what you got there? And Oli says, well, Lars, this is a thermos. It keeps hot things hot, and it keeps cold things cold. And after a while, Lars gets curious and says, well, Oli, what you got in that there thermos? And Oli says... Well, Lars, I got a popsicle and two cups of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you got slugs is what you got now. <laughs> I don't know. These are pretty bad. <laughs> they are not. They're good. We like bad. We I like bad. Well. They taste good. Try that sometime. Melt a popsicle yeah. and a coffee. Just let it sit there. <laughs> flavor. What flavor? Yeah. Well, let's see. Maybe I could do one more. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Oli and Sven, they go moose hunting every winter. They never have any luck. and So they come up with this foolproof plan. They get a authentic female moose costume and learn the mating call of the female moose. <laughs> and... Uh, the plan is to hide in the costume, lure the bull, and when he come, uh, comes, come out of the costume and shoot it. And they set themselves up on the edge of a clearing and 
put on the costume and they start to give the moose love call. And before long, the call is answered and a bull comes crashing out of the woods into the clearing. And uh, when the bull is close enough, Ole says, okay, let's get out and get him. And it seems like an eternity and Sven in the back shouts, the zipper is stuck, the zipper is stuck. What are we going to do? And Ole says, well, Sven... I'm going to start nibbling grass, but you better brace yourself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my Yay. God. Yay. That was bad enough to quit. Okay, was, thank you. That was great, Sonovi. Thank you. Give it a 